hello and welcome back to the master civil engineering and in this video you will learn that how to find the shear and the movement functions for a beam i have been given a question which states that we have to determine the shear and the movement throughout the beam as a function of x also we have to draw the shear force and the movement diagram for the beam you can see this is a simply supported beam of length 14 meter on which uh, two point loads of magnitude 250 newton are applied at the left and the right end also a udl of magnitude 150 newton per meter is applied on a length of six meter between these two supports okay we have to find the shear and the movement functions first we will find the reactions of this beam so let us assume that ra and rp are the vertical reactions at the left and right supports of this beam in the upward direction as shown in the fpd okay that is the free body diagram so first you will take uh, movement about the left support equal to zero by assuming that clockwise movements are positive and anti-clockwise movements are negative movement of this uh, point load 250 about uh, support a this will be uh, minus 250 into 4 because this will be in the anti-clockwise direction movement of udl its uh, magnitude if i convert it into the point load its magnitude will be 150 into 6 newton and it is uh, it it is at a distance of 3 meter from the support a and its movement will be clockwise so it will be 150 into 6 into 6 by 2 movement of this rb about point a support a this is uh, anti clockwise and its magnitude is uh, rb into 6 movement of this point load 250 about support a this is uh, clockwise and its magnitude is 250 into 10 from this you will get the value of rp equal to 700 newton this is positive it means our assumed direction is correct rp acts in the upward direction for vertical equilibrium of forces equal to zero assuming that uh, upward forces are positive and downward forces are negative we will get ra plus rp minus 250 minus 150 into 6 minus 250 equal to 0 from this you will get the value of ra equal to 700 newton again it is positive so it acts in the upward direction as assumed uh, in the fpd after finding the reactions we can now find the shear and the movement functions for this beam okay so we will divide this beam into three parts okay the first part is from 0 to 4 meter next part will be 4 to 10 meter and last uh, third part it will be from 10 meter to 14 meter okay so for the first part that is uh, for uh, x uh, greater or equal 0 or less than 4 meter you can see the fpd for this portion we are taking the cut somewhere here between x uh, 0 to 4 meter okay and you can see the fpd for this portion in this portion only low 250 newton is applied okay assuming that shear force is in the downward direction and movement is anti-clockwise so you know, for vertical equilibrium of forces for this portion it will be minus 250 newton minus v equal zero from this you will get the value of shear force equal to minus 250 newton okay so shear force for the first portion it is constant and its value is minus 250 newton taking movements about the right end that is this end equal to zero okay so movement of this uh, 250 newton assuming clockwise as positive and anti-clockwise as negative so this will be negative its magnitude will be 250 into x and this movement we have also already assumed it as anti-clockwise so it will be minus m so from this you will get the value of m equal to minus 250 x newton meter okay so movement function for the first uh, portion of the beam that is from 0 to 4 meter this is minus 250 x after that for the next portion which is from this 4 to 10 meter okay 4 to 10 meter you can see the fpd for this uh, portion of the beam okay so uh, on this portion uh, force of uh, 250 newton and udl of uh, 150 into x minus 4x okay is we are uh, taking x from the left hand okay so x will be uh, taken from the left hand so first portion that is from uh, 0 
to this support a this is 4 meter and after that length is x minus 4 okay total is x if this is x this will be x minus 4 okay so magnitude of udl we have to consider is 150 into x minus 4 not 150 into 6 and it is acting at a distance of x minus 4 divided by 2 from this support a okay uh, shear uh, assuming shear in this portion acts in the downward direction and movement is anti-clockwise so again for vertical equilibrium of forces equal to 0 we will get minus 250 newton plus 700 minus 150 into x minus 4 minus v equal to 0 from this you will get the value of uh, shear in this portion of the beam uh, equal to 1050 minus 150 x newton okay this is the shear function for the second part of the beam again taking movements about the right end equal zero movement of the first uh, point load this will be minus 250 into x because it is anti-clockwise movement of 700 newton this will be 700 into x minus 4 okay minus 150 into x minus 4 its movement about the right end will be anti-clockwise into x minus 4 divided by 2 minus m equal to 0 okay so you will get the value of movement function for this portion of the beam equal to minus 75 x square plus 1050 x minus 4000 newton meter for the last part of the beam okay we will cut the section here okay so distance from this to this point will be x and the remaining uh, portion of the beam this will be equal to 14 minus x okay so for the last portion that is x greater than 10 or uh, less or equal to 14 meter you can see the fpd if i cut the section here and taking the right side of the section so if total length of the beam is 14 if I cut the section at x, the remaining right side portion will be 14 minus x, okay? And assuming shear in this portion acts in the upward direction and movement is uh, clockwise, the only force which acts on this portion will be 250 Newton. Again, for vertical equilibrium of forces equal to 0, it will be minus 250 plus V equal to 0. From this, you will get the value of V equal to 50 Newton. Taking movements about the left end for this section equal to 0. Movement of 250 Newton about this left, uh, left end, this will be equal to uh, 250 into 14 minus x. It will be clockwise, so I have taken it positive. And this m, this is already clockwise, so it will be, it is uh, taken also as positive. So 250 into 14 minus x plus m equal 0. From this you will get the value of m equal 250x minus 3500 newton meter. This is the movement function for the third part of the beam. Okay. So after finding the movement functions for these three parts of the beam, movement and shear functions for these three parts of the beam, we can now draw the shear force and the movement diagram for this beam. First, uh, shear force, let us assume upwards as positive and downwards as negative. For the first part of the beam, that is x greater or equal to 0, less than 4 meter, shear force was constant and its magnitude was minus 250 newton. For the next part, that is x greater than 4 meter and less than 10 meter, function, shear function was equal to 1050 minus 150x newton. So, putting the value of x is equal to 4 meter, we get the value of shear at x is equal to 4 meter as 450 newton and putting x is equal to 7 meter that is for the middle portion of the beam we get the value of shear function equal to 0 shear force equal to 0 and for x is equal to 10 meter we get the value of shear force equal to minus 450 newton for the third part of the beam that is for x greater than 10 and less or equal to 14 meter shear force was again constant and its magnitude was 250 newton you can see the shear force diagram for this beam okay for x 0 to 4 meter shear force is constant and its magnitude is minus 250 newton at x is equal to 4 magnitude of shear force is plus 450 newton at x is equal to 7 meter shear force was 0 that is at the middle portion of the beam 
at x is equal to 10 meter shear force was minus 450 newton and finally for the last portion of the beam that is from a 10 to 14 meter shear force was constant and its magnitude is 250 newton okay so this portion this will be a linear portion you have to remember when the uh, for udl uh, load shear force is linear okay next for bending moment diagram assuming clockwise as positive and anti-clockwise as negative for the first portion of the beam that is x greater or equal to zero less than four meter uh, shear moment function was equal to minus 250x putting value of x equal to zero moment will be zero putting x is equal to four meter uh, moment will be minus 250 into four which is minus 1000 newton meter for the next portion of the beam that is x greater than four meter less than 10 meter moment function was minus 75 x square plus 1050 x minus 4000 newton meter putting x is equal to 4 meter again the value of moment will be minus uh, 1000 newton meter putting x is equal to 7 meter value of moment will be minus 325 newton meter putting x is equal to 10 meter value of moment will be minus 1000 newton meter and finally for the last portion of the beam that is x greater than 10 and less or equal to 14 meter moment function was 250x minus 3500 newton meter putting value of x is equal to 10 again we will get the value of moment equal to minus 1000 newton meter and putting x is equal to 14 meter we get the value of moment as zero okay you can see the moment diagram for this beam okay at x is equal to zero moment is zero at x is equal to four meter moment is minus 1000 newton meter at x is equal to 7 meter moment is minus 325 newton meter at x is equal to 10 meter moment is again minus 1000 newton meter and finally at the right end of the beam that is x is equal to 14 meter moment is again zero okay so this is how you can find the shear and moment functions along the length of the beam I hope this solution video was clear and effective and you definitely learn something new. If you found this video helpful, you can subscribe to my channel and share this video. Also, if you have some doubts, you can write them in the comment box and I will be happy to answer this. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.